Okay, welcome to another Mind Builder Gamers 13 video. What I'm going to be showing you is how to install a mod. First, go get a mod. You have to go to a Mind Builder Forms course. Now, let's go there. I never trust the auto auto type. Ne last time that I did, it took me to a porn site. Did not like the look of that. Okay, to go to and get a mod, you go to a mod section. It's in the way bottom. But I did. I I installed official Kakariko Village texture pack for Mind Builder. What it does, it gives you texture pack, of course, but it has similarity of a mod installation. Uh, but this one is more visualized and I don't have to right now I don't have to do all the crafting and all that for the new items that it this one does not give you new items that's the thing what it does is it gives you a uh, texture pack like for your terrain new title menu buttons control life bar and swords and tools and plenty more it says right here but I don't see the plenty more Okay, to install to install it, what you have to do is connect to USB. Okay, I connect my USB and use and do the storage. You have to go to your Android data, and I don't have it. Okay, let me pause it while I start my Mind Builder and get it back. So, yeah. Okay, now that I'm back, I I started my Mind Builder. Took me some time. But let's go back again. You go to your Android data, and it'll be right here on the second one. If you have the same thing that I do, and it's gonna be com dot dot mind builder and folder. And what you do is open it. You go to files, and let's put that to the side. Open my documents, downloads. It should be right there if you if you extracted it. And mind builder. Put this on the side, and yeah, remove this. And what you do is click do this for the next six five conflicts. If you don't want to, then you're gonna be have to be clicking, clicking, clicking here for six five times. And you click copy and replace. You don't want to copy and keep the old files, or I think you'll mess up your mind builder. But you just copy and replace and wait. I'm just gonna pause it in here too. Oh, never mind. Taking this time, and there. The ones that come up, uh, that you replace, will come up highlighted, like the uh, pumpkin texture. It says right here should be, like, like a. I think that's a. Doku. I think I'm not really sure. I don't. I don't really remember that much but it should look like that and after that you just close it and take off your oops oh sorry and just play mind builder like that that's it and it is how you install a mod another thing is you're gonna be asking is but what if I want to install another mod and I want to take off the ones that I have? Well, you're, well, if you're not asking that and you just say, oh well, if, let me just install a mod and it's gonna replace that one. Well, no, I'm, I'm guessing it'll mess up your mind mind builder too as well. So what I'm gonna do is pause right here and get my phone back back up. Okay, now that I now that I connected my mind builder, I'm going to. I'm going back to Android data, brand new file, and what I'm, well, I did it wrong by just going all the way here. What, I'm, what I was just gonna do is delete it. But you might be asking, but well, you're destroying Mind Builder, but not really. Abraham226 uh, said it once that if you delete it, it would, and you play Mind Builder, it would replace it automatically. So yeah. I'm guessing he's the only one who has said it so far. Not really sure. I haven't been around for a while, but okay. Let me pause it and show you how to install a mod that really shows you like new blocks and all that. 
Let me pause right here. Okay, so I, I already started Mind Builder and I should already create another dot Brammy dot Mind Builder folder. And there it is. Okay, what I'm gonna do is install a mod that everyone has been installing, which is the cloud mod. And uh, he's insane, it's been, uh, it gives you pillars and different kind of pillars. And the cloud, which I like a lot, which is pretty cool. The cloud one. The gelatin. It's pretty cool. I think I'm guessing it's like an X ray or something. It gives you all the recipes right here. Right on it. You're gonna find the links for the for the mods right in the description down below. So click it if you want. So yeah, and yeah, we're gonna mod solder. Hmm. That's different. I'm not I'm not familiarized with this, but I just hope it extract it. Oh I hate that. Extract it. And yes, then you go to your documents, downloads. See right there. I'm guessing right here is where all of the all of the blocks are. New blocks and all that. Oh, yeah, delayed. Sorry. And a font. Items, which is the new items. I'm guessing those are for the gel. And pumpkin head texture and a workbench, but which lets you create new blocks. Okay, what we're going to do. Let me just pause it. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to pause it for a real quick moment. I was being called, and yeah, now now that we just go back in and copy it all. Move it, copy to all files. You know, I'm telling, telling you if you want to replace it, just do the same thing as the last one. Copy and replace. It'll give you the new things that are highlighted, and I'm. It should be already right there. The mod installed. So what you do is just close everything and play Mind Builder. So yeah. And this was a tutorial on how to install mods, two types of mods, the texture pack and the new block mod, like give you giving you new blocks. So sorry for the long video and thanks for watching. Please rate and, and comment, subscribe if it helped in any way. Uh, so thanks for watching.